Pete, is that as good as if you see the special teams in a, in a playoff uh, game with the way you guys came out and the way you killed the penalties? Yeah, I thought um, the power play was really good, efficient. Um, finally, Kill, I thought, did a great job. You know, even, even there was a lot of time between the, the penalties and the extra attacker, there's a lot of time when you're a man down. And for a team who's shot heavy, it just puts you under duress a little bit. You're stressed. Um, in the defensive zone, but uh, things we can get better at, but I thought you know, definitely factored into the game. Hello, Peter. You uh, you had a big night from, from your centers. Mika scores two, Trochek gets one, and even sorry, Winberg was playing well defensively and stuff. Just just how vital is it to have depth up the middle this time of year? Yeah, I mean, the players you mentioned played really well. I thought, um, I thought we started the right way, and <clears throat> From a five-on-five five standpoint, I thought we did a really good job. Um, again, it gets it gets skewed a little bit because of the, you know, the, the amount of time we were shorthanded. So, uh, but from a five-on-five five standpoint, you're off for a bit of time. Come back, you know, you're a week out from the last time you played. I thought the start was really good, and I thought we just followed that through right through the game. I thought it was pretty consistent the way we played. Meek obviously had a huge night. Um, Troach has been like that the entire year. You're right, Bergie was good. The centermen were good. I thought our guys were pretty solid tonight. Go to Mark. Peter, uh, to back to Vincent a little bit. You told us, I, I believe you, I think it was before the Washington series, you talked about how he touches every part of the game. Yeah. Um, tonight seemed to be a perfect illustration of that. Can you, can you speak to that? Yeah, I mean, it's not just tonight. <laughs> it's... Um, the reason why that came up was because it was the entire year. He's been a guy that has been counted on for so many situations. His level of play in all of the situations that you're referring to has been excellent. And um, you know, he's somebody that we just count on for both sides of the puck, offensively and defensively. And uh, you know, I think tonight was more just a reflection of the regular season. Go to Dan. Peter, obviously you'll take goals. You'll take goals from anybody to win a game in the playoffs. But when you can get them early in a series from your top guys the way you did, um, does that have an impact as you go on to the next game and maybe the next game that these guys are going now and it's not relying on guys who you normally don't have to rely on? I think I think that there's you know, everybody wants to feel good about the game, right? And sometimes when you have that impact offensively you get the you get to feel good about it. You get some. You get to gain some confidence from that. But inside of a long playoff series, you really need everybody playing well. You go back to game one of the first series, like that was a huge night for the Gaudreau line, and they played fantastic. You need every. It changes from game to game. Um, that's. In, I think that's in sports in general. If you're gonna, if you're gonna find your way through something, your team has to contribute. Tonight, you know, as a those guys were the last three guys off the ice getting called back out. I'm like, well, those are the those are good guys to have being the last guys off because they they've had such a heavy impact offensively on our team the entire year. And um, to get that in game one was really good. I thought again, I mentioned the sentiment. I thought Mika was outstanding tonight with his game, but I thought everybody played pretty good. The offense and the points just went to those guys. And hopefully, they do continue to gain some confidence from them. Go to Greg in the back. Peter, uh, did you get any explanation on that situation where Natchez was in the box for tripping and then all of a sudden it's D'Angelo in the box after they reviewed it? Yeah, I mean, they had a penalty. When they came to the benches, that they had a penalty called. Um, they talked about it. They went to a review for major and um, probably got the call right. Whether it's more than that, those are that's above my pay grade. And so somebody else will take a look at that. But um, I think... I think it's good sometimes when you do that, you go there and you actually get the call right. It was more the hit than anything else, and that's the way it, that's the way it translated, um, you know, through the time that they took to, to take a look at it. Go to Ethan up front. Here, three, three game winning goals for our team in these playoffs so far. I think just what are you seeing from him, and how high is his confidence right now? I mean, it's it's good. It goes back to the it goes back to the same thing that Dan had mentioned, like. Your guys, I think they start to feed off of that and build off of that. Um, and I'll go back to the, the answer here as well, is that that's been nothing different than what's happened through the, 
course of the regular season. He's been a guy who has, you know, led this team offensively, and uh, you know, just the playoffs have now started, and he's just following through from what he did with the regular season. The last one, Johnny. Uh, Peter, I know you're always a game by game approach. You guys have had multiple lengthy win streaks in the regular season. You've now won five straight games in the playoffs. Is it still game to game, or is the mojo somewhat the same as, as some of those in the regular season? In playoffs, for me, it's completely game to game. We're going to have to take a look at what we did right, try to get, try to bring that back to the table. We're going to have to take a look at what we need to do better, bring that back to the table, and um, you know you. It's the playoffs. Somebody doesn't have it go their way. Their hair goes up on the back of their neck, and they're more pointed with their game. And so, we're going to have to elevate our game as well. So, for me, everything goes in the playoffs goes game to game.